فيكم مشاهدينا الكرام بحلقه جديده من برنامجنا لآلي الاتحاد حلقتنا اليوم من داخل اماره ابو ظبي مع مالكه مركز الحناء الهندي اهلا وسهلا فيك يا اتس مركز الحناء الهندي نعم يعني بدايه بنرحب فيك في برنامجنا طبعا مركز الحناء الهندي هو من اوائل المراكز اللي تم افتتاحها داخل اماره ابو ظبي دعينا نحكي شوي ونعرف المشاهدين عن حضرتك وعن بداياتك داخل دوله الامارات I am Nilima Lavana, uh, owner of uh, Indian Henna Center. It, it started off as Indian Henna Art Center. And then they removed the word art, but it is still an artist's place. And we started a uh, long time back in 1984. And uh, I came to United Arab Emirates in 90, uh, 1982. It's a long time. Yeah, a very long time. And uh, I, st I first came to Sharjah with uh, my, worked with my husband's relation. And uh, she has a very well-known saloon, Rachna Saloon. You probably know about it. She has several saloons in the Emirates. I started yeah. off with uh, somebody in my family. Yeah. يعني التواجد داخل إمارة التواجد داخل دولة الإمارات هو أمر صعب للشخص إنه ينجح لأنه في العديد من الأشخاص اللي بينافسوا في نفس المجال احكي لنا يعني عن الأساسيات اللي اتبعتيها في مركز الحناء الهندي هل تكوني من الأشخاص الناجحين داخل دولة الإمارات؟ Yeah, I started off in Sharjah uh, in 1982. And after that, uh, we participated in uh, various exhibitions in uh, Sharjah, Dubai, and Abu Dhabi. I took uh, part in probably seven of them. And then finally, I opened in Abu Dhabi in yeah. 1984. يعني اليوم مركز الحناء الهندي يعني يحظى بسمعة طيبة جدا في هذا المجال يعني ما أكثر ما يميز هذا المركز جعل يكون يعني في المراكز الأولى بما يخص مجال الحناء الهندي. Yeah, uh, when we open uh, very slowly uh, we began to gather a good name and that was for the best of designs that we gave and uh, the color of our henna. We didn't use any chemicals. It was naturally based, and the way the locals made the henna, we, paid, uh, we prepared in the similar fashion, just adding a little bit of essential oil and the natural color, the best henna we got. So we gave the very good color for which we became very famous, and the design part, we tried to give excellence in uh, the designs, the artistic designs. Yes. اليوم بالتأكيد هذا النجاح لم يأتي بسهولة يعني بالتأكيد واجهت العديد من التحديات. لو تحدثنا عن أبرز المشاكل اللي واجهتيها في خلال عملك معي. When we started uh, in Abu Dhabi, before that we started uh, participating in exhibitions, so people started to know us. You know, as artists, that we are giving good quality artistic designs. And then when we, I created finance out of that because I didn't have much money. And we started from a very small flat out of which one room was taken for the henna and the rest was for the residents. And they had two separate entrances. And that was on the first floor of this building. And uh, I put all the money which I earned, totally all of it, in financing this. So if it didn't work, I would be on the streets. يعني بالتأكيد حضرتك من أوائل الموجودين في عالم الحنة داخل دولة الإمارات يعني افتتحت مركز الحناء الهندي منذ فترة طويلة داخل إمارة أبو ظبي هناك دائما تطور في الأشكال تطور في الديزاينات المتواجدة في السوق كيف دائما بتكونوا على مواكبة مع هذه التطورات؟ We uh, create more and more and new and new designs on paper and then uh, sometimes we have photos and sometimes clients bring photo that we would like this but basically we are able to create whatever they ask us to do. Sometimes people have something in mind, they want a small tattoo, you know, 
I'm not talking about black henna. I'm just asking they want a, some, a small bird or something. They bring a picture. Somebody wants a snake. Somebody wants a rabbit. Somebody wants a doggy. And somebody wants uh, just some, some motif, you know, which they like. And somebody wants just a letter of their word, of the name or something. So all sorts of things we do. يعني ظهرت تحذيرات في الاونه الاخيره يعني تحذر من الحنه السوداء انها دائما يعني قد تظهر طفح جلدي وما الى ذلك كيف بتتلاشوا الدخول في هذه المشاكل او هاي التاثيرات مع الزبائن the black henna is the henna which is a hair dye which they use which the sudanis probably used it or they used something else i am not aware of it what they used but that gives a different color it black whereas what we use is the natural henna which doesn't have chemical so it doesn't affect the skin no. and people prefer that جميل يعني بالتاكيد النجاح لا يقف عند نقطه معينه يعني لو تحدثنا عن ابرز التطلعات لمركز الحناء الهندي هل ستكون هناك افرع اخرى داخل دوله الامارات او قد تكون خارج دوله الامارات I just want to give the best, the best uh, artistic designs, and give the best to the people what yeah. they like. يعني نحن نشكرك لكونك اليوم مع ضيفة في هذه الحلقات نود أن نختتم الحلقة بكلمة نوجهها إلى حكام وقادة دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة. Yeah, I would like to thank especially uh, the the UAE where I got opportunity. to uh, grow and prosper and it's such a beautiful country which accepts people from all nationalities uh, very cosmopolitan and very beautiful and I'm also grateful to the fact that uh, when I came here we have been supported by the people of Abu Dhabi throughout uh, and made popular through word of mouth and from one person to other It has been uh, known to other people, and that's how we became famous. But uh, the support that we got from the people has been tremendous, and also the support of the royal family, who also liked our henna to a very great extent. And I'm thankful for all of this. يعني أنا أيضا بدوري أشكرك جزيل الشكر على هذا الكلام الجميل شكرا لك لكونك اليوم مع ضيفة في هذه الحلقات وأتمنى أن تسمحي لكاد العمل بأخذ جولة تصويرية داخل مركز الحناء الهندي وأيضا تصوير أبرز الرسومات والديزاينات المتواجدة داخل المركز شكرا لك Thank you, you're welcome Thank you أعزائي المشاهدين كانت هذه نهاية حلقتنا اليوم شكرا لكم